What up YouTube, welcome to another tutorial. In today's video, I'll be showing you how you can save your animation, your custom animation, inside your content library, inside Dash 3D. Well, let's get started. It's gonna double click this here, double click that, chilling. Move this out the way now. Now our character is properly on the floor. We want to save this. I'm going to go to our content library tab. If you don't have this tab available, you can find it over here in Windows, Panes, and right here, content library. Click that and drag it on your viewport, and you're ready to follow along. So, um, yeah, I'm going to click here. Now, once we get here, I'm going to open this tab up, and I usually save mine right here is right here so you just click here my library which will bring this little area where you have this plus and minus now I'm, I want to save this animation so what we want to do is we want to make sure he's highlighted because he's the one that we want to save his animation we're going to click here this little plus button we're going to click pose preset you can name it And um, yeah, we'll just click save. Now it's asking right here, the animation range. Do you want the current frame, which will be only like a pose, just one movement, a pose, or you want the animated range, which this is what we want. Cause animated mean you're gonna get all 121 frames. This one here is just one frame would be just pretty much a pose if you get that this here is animation and then after that just click accept now it's up here now if we delete him from our scene go back to our smart content we just type in alien and go to our figures let me bring him back inside the scene brand new now we have our character back in our scene that's two ways to get your animation we can either go when we're over here in our smart content we can go to our save files make sure this is unchecked Let's just delete that so if we go to our save files and we click here I'm just going to double click here we have our animation right here now I can just double click it and that will add his animation or you can go back to your smart content folder and you'll see it right here either or you know save files go here and I'm gonna click it I'm just gonna double click it click yes and now let's blow this up see the animation in action And that's how easy it is. Hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, comment, like, and subscribe. And like always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.